Hello, bonjour. Uh, thank you for having me. I'm very excited because every conference I can reach by train is exciting double. I don't need to go to the airport. And yeah, we done two animations with Jason, also the one for Christmas. You can see Christmas animation where we're singing together and we think that it will be our SEO thing for every year. So yeah, bravo. Now um, I'm going to talk about gap analysis. Um, my name is Lukas Zelezny. I was born in Poland, living in London, uh, <laughs> have a Czech surname, what could go wrong? Everyone is calling me a different way. Um, some people call me Luke. So, and all the cab drivers in London, every time I'm going somewhere, at the end of the road, uh, they are like, so, au revoir. I was like, why you said this? You French? I was like, no, oh, but you have a hat. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> OK, I can be French. So I am going to talk about how to boost uh, SEO with keyword gap analysis. I was working for Uswitch, Zoopla uh, in the last five or six years. And in 2018, uh, October, I decided to move on my own. Uh, my little uh, daughter arrived and, you know, we right now waiting until she will be three years old. She will start online marketing because nothing is for free. And yeah, so let's start. Um, so what is a gap analysis? In a nutshell, gap analysis is like you would like to say, where are they versus where I am? So where are my competitors? What keywords, what content they have? And where am I comparing to them? I was using this method a long time ago. I'm Polish. I hope this is not vodka. Um, I was using this method a long time ago when there was no tools for that. And my laptop really hated me because Excel couldn't process the data. So I was going for a croissant, and the, the data was processed. And then after an hour, I had the data. But right now, there are, there are cloud solutions, so you can deal with this, this much faster. So, first of all, find the leader. And here is the story. Imagine that there is a company called choose.co.uk or choose.net is the same. It's a price comparison website similar to Uswitch. And imagine that you are joining this company and from the first day you need to deliver quickly growth. Now, in UK, price comparison websites are very popular. Comparing prices is like a national sport. Uh, it's the same like looking on the properties. That's our two things uh, that people love to do, like scrolling uh, through, through Zoopla, through Rightmove, and so on. So imagine that I'm joining or you joining choose.co.uk, and now we need to start looking for relevant topics, relevant keywords. So first, we need to choose competitors. And sometimes my clients are coming to me and saying, like, Lucas, that's are my competitors. I'm like, are you sure? Why are they your competitors? Because I hate them. It's like, you see, the, this, is, the, this is not how you should choose competitors, not by hate, but more by data. So here is the data, uh, and this screenshot is taken from search metrics, but you can use SEMrush, Systrix, Spyfu, and it's showing based on the data similarity who is our, um, who, who, what are the other websites that are similar to Choose Co UK. And you have Broadband Choices, Cable, uh, Uswitch, Broadband Co UK, Broadband Genie, Virgin Media. So we can see that that's are very much telecoms websites. This is the screenshot from, actually, the previous one was from SEMrush. This one is from Search Metrics. And you can see Money Saving Expert, Uswitch, Money Supermarket, Broadband Choices. So quite similar. You see a couple of metrics, how many shared keywords this um, website have, um, what is the traffic value, and so on and so on. So we know something to start with. Now, if we will perform a gap analysis that some tools uh, providing us, um, then the gap analysis is simply much uh, like you would like to ask, OK, show me what are the keywords that you switch and broadband choices simultaneously rank in Google Co UK and choose Co UK is not. And we have 18,954 keywords. And if I would throw this on the CEO of Choose Co UK, probably I would be fired because that's too much. That's like a noise. So we need to go a little deeper. And in this section, we will go much deeper. So first of all, you always see this kind of keywords by intent, you know, awareness, interest, consideration, yadi, 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 yadi. For me, it's simple. 
The yellow part is what I'm carrying for as an SEO, and the bottom part is what I'm not carrying for as an SEO. And very often, I, analyzing data, I notice that questions are the most uh, valuable keywords that people are using. What, why, how, when. And when you are billing you all, you can see the data in other languages. Who is billing you all? Who speaks more than one language? Perfect. So you can, you know, you can, I, I was doing this the same uh, with, with Russian language. I have a Russian neighbor who like sometimes teaching me some Russian words on the barbecue. And I could see the same pattern, that the questions are very, very popular. And Simon Sinek's golden circle, start with why. Raise your hand who heard about Simon Sinek. Perfect. So Simon Sinek said, start with why. And he said, like, the why is the most important question when you're starting a company. Then how, then what? But now, are we starting a company or are we trying to understand what are the intent behind the users who are trying to find our business? And if you will try to put yourself into customer shoes, then unfortunately, this looks very different than what Simon Sinek said. This is absolutely uh, fine for someone who is starting business. No questions. And no question that Simon Sinek is like an amazing uh, speaker. But when you're looking from a customer, it looks a bit different. And I call this SEO search volume golden circle. And now the size of the circle is representing demand. The questions with how are always dominant. Then what and then why? Some of my friends saw this slide and was like, yeah, you're right. I was like, why? Because I was like, why? Because why is like so philosophical. I was like, maybe yes, but I would need to bring some data to prove you that. So I started choosing some companies that I can show you on next slides that questions with how are really dominant. And take a look. We will start from how. BBC. If you are analyzing keywords from BBC, then you will see that according to SEMrush, they are on almost 6 million keywords ranking in Google Co. UK. And then 232,000 are keywords with how, then what, and then at the end why. So this is first example of, of uh, that this methodology is um, is, is, is proper and right. And then Santander, Santander Bank. You would see, you would think like bank uh, really cares about other things, not about content marketing, but nothing, nothing more wrong. They are doing amazing content marketing. And if you analyze 145,000 keywords, then out of them, 11,630, that's our keywords with how, then what, and then at the end, why only 128. You will rarely type, why should I have an account in bank? You know why should you. How uh, is more popular? How to transfer money from one bank to another? How to do this? How to do that? And most uh, important from this is that when people write how, they very often uh, have intent to click on the website, to click on the results on Google. Here is a Wells, a Wells Fargo. This is the example I was showing last week in San Diego and LA uh, when I was speaking for, for Meetup there. And take a look. We have here lots of keywords which, um, which are the brand related. And if we will narrow this to keywords with how, out of 700, over 700,000 keywords, we have 50,000 with how. How to cancel your Wells Fargo account. How to send money to Wells Fargo. And so on and so on. Then what? What's my credit score? This is a keyword completely not relevant to Wells Fargo, but they wanted to secure this because lots of people in the US is typing, what's my credit score? And they were thinking like, instead of giving that opportunity to grab that traffic by anyone else, Wells Fargo is using authority of their domain to rank on this keyword. And obviously, they can answer this question saying, like, if you want to check your credit score, you will need to do step one, step two, step three. And by the way, you know that you can have uh, credit cards from Wells Fargo that will raise your credit score. Moreover, you can see this little crown there where is the SERP features. What that crown means is that Wells Fargo is securing featured snippet, aka answer box, aka position zero. 
So they are ranking on the top of, uh, right below the adverts and above the organic results. Until last month, when Google changed the rules, you could secure featured snippet plus you could secure a normal standard organic results. So that way you would have two spots for the same keywords. And if you would add on top of that an advert, you would have three spots, add, featured snippet, and on the bottom, uh, organic results. So when in 2015, I think, you switch, uh, when I was in Newswitch, um, I saw that Google started populating this featured snippet. I was like, this is an amazing opportunity to grab additional traffic. I need to find a way to identify keywords that are ranking in featured snippet and identify how to be there. It's not that easy because there is no magic tag that you can put. You just need to write the way that Google will understand that this is the best answer for that question. And I hired a guy who was only dealing with that. And uh, we were tracking us versus competitor. Only one competitor those days was proactively looking for keywords that are ranking in answer boxes. That was two years after the other one started picking up. And mainly because there was no tools to do this. You had to use XPath to start scraping results and so on and so on and so on. So going forward, hello, yes. Analyze, we versus them. I think the clicker is almost dead. So. Um, this is the initial, um, initial view on our gap analysis taken from SEMrush. United Kingdom is the, uh, the country I'm looking for. You switch broadband choices and choose KOK that let's imagine that we are trying to join. So we're saying, show me common keywords, you switch and broadband choices are ranking together and choose KOK is not. And we have 18,954, like I said before. Now. We want to see only keywords that contain word how. And we're going and we're saying, show me only keywords that contain word how. And we have 1,224 keywords. So out of 19,000 keywords, we went down to 1,224. But it's still a bit too much. You cannot imagine to have one article that will cover all these keywords. So we're saying now, I want to see only keywords that contain how and competitor must rank between position 1 and 20. So on the first two results pages. Why? Because we want to have only very relevant keyword. If competitors are ranking on position 67, then probably keyword is completely random. And we have 182 keywords. That looks quite okay. And now, this is the graphical representation of you switch green, broadband choices blue, and Chusco UK orange. What is very interesting, Chusco UK anyway have the highest amount of keywords that they are ranking in Google Co UK. But that doesn't necessarily mean that they cannot rank on more keywords. So now question to you, where is so-called a sweet spot? Is this one? Is this two? Is this three or this is four? Anyone want to answer? Come on. Don't be shy. Okay, raise your hand who is thinking is one. Okay, two, three, okay, four. So the majority of people said that this is number three and I need to tell you something. Unfortunately, you are wrong, but I fall the same problem. I prepared the slides and in brightness here, I done the same mistake, despite from the fact that I remember my slides. Why? Because this is where the sweet spot is. Take a look. We're looking for keywords that you switch and broadband are ranking together and choose KOK is not. So in other words, we're trying to build a nose to that sweet, lovely dude that I painted in PowerPoint. So we want to make him bigger. And this is where the 182 keywords are. If, if Choose Co UK will start ranking on 182 keywords, that means that this dude will get a nose. So knowing that, we're exporting keywords. And that's are the keywords that I have. 
how to use pack code, how to get pack code, how much is two, uh, two gigabytes of data, how to get pack code from E. Can you see the pattern? Pack code, pack code, pack code. What is pack code? Pack code is a code that you're using to transfer one uh, to transfer number phone number from one operator to another you have let's say number for 10 years you want you are with one operator you're saying like i want to switch to another one but i don't want to lose my number pack code is for that so people are typing a lot about how to do this with pack code how to do that you can see that u switch is ranking quite high uh the the seo for u switch was moi uh, <laughs> And then broadband choices is not bad, but it's only position uh, 11 and, and lower. And Chusco UK does not rank. That simply means that they don't have a content for that. We need to write a content about how to choose pack code and how to, do, how to use pack code. So we're saying, OK, narrow this list even more. Now, show me keywords where competitors are ranking on page one and two, only keywords with how, and difficulty is 80, no higher than 84. So difficulty, keyword difficulty, how difficult is to rank on specific keywords, that's from zero to 100. 100, the most difficult keywords, lots of people want to rank, and one is like very easy keywords to rank. When I was preparing the slides, I was thinking, I had this like brilliant idea, I was thinking like, what is the keyword that is super popular and nobody cares to rank on this keyword? You know what is the keyword? How to cook broccoli. Everyone is looking how to cook broccoli and nobody cares to rank on this. So I was thinking like, this is my niche. Next time, website about how to cook broccoli. And actually, I was thinking, <laughs> I went, uh, I went to Polish uh, research and I found that there is a lot of questions about Catholic uh, praying and this and that, this and that, this and that. And uh, I done a test and the traffic like that. I've been like ranking immediately. But the broccoli website is waiting. So yes, uh, we have this um, research done. 76 keywords now from 19,000 to 76. And this is our initial list here. Yeah? We have a nice search volume, maybe not like thousands. Don't go with search volume 20 to 1,000. We want to be on keyword mobiles. Forget about this. That will come later. Go with some long tail keywords like that. And we can start sending this to content writers and say like, listen, start writing about pack code, do research, here are keywords, we need to have them, and that must be long content, 1,000, 2,000 words, very, very informative with some graphics, maybe with video, maybe with some quiz, just to make this interesting. But we can expand these keywords because the fact that our competitors are ranking on some keywords doesn't necessarily mean that that's are all keywords we should use about this topic. So we're going to something that, that is called a keyword magic tool, and we know that we will be writing about pack code. We know that the context will be how. So we ri we're writing, show me keywords with that writing that, that ranking in Google Co UK with word pack and how and code. And I have 17 keywords, 8,610 searches. So now I can deduplicate and do a recheck. And I'm adding this to keyword difficulty tool, and this is where the, 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 the super brilliant thing will happen. Take a look. This is the table that, normal, that initially may look a bit compli uh, complicated, but it's very simple. Difficulty, below 84. Search volume, quite decent. Uh, number of results, and now take a look. These ticks, uh, there is uh, one, two, three, four column when the ticks are everywhere. This means that every single keyword is firing answer box. So if you do this right, if you write the content, if you will make your website ranking quite high, naturally, Google may choose or start choosing keywords that you're ranking, like for example, how to get pack code from GiveGaf and will place you in the answer box, in this featured snippet that I showed you for Wells Fargo. And then click through rate is not anymore 10% or 20%, sometimes it's 50%. Every second search, people are clicking on that result. And now, summary of algorithm. Here is an animation. I was working hard, 3 o'clock at night. So step one, 
find two, three competitors. Not four, not eight, and not 20. Just two or three, maybe four. Step two, use initial gap analysis. Step three, narrow keywords, because you cannot write for 18,000 keywords, yeah? Start slicing this set of data into topics, yeah? Step four, narrow keywords to topic. In our example, we narrow to pack. I have uh, some other clients. Uh, one is a company that is helping to fix cars, and there is lots of about how to fix clutch, how to fix uh, tires, how to do this, how to do that. Every topic have one specific landing page. Step five, additional research through keyword magic tool. So make sure that you have a full view on the topic. And then step six, finally research keyword uh, via keyword difficulty tool. Simple st six steps you can go through and you have a very sweet uh, list that you can send to your content writer and they will start writing. And if they have a little of understanding about SEO, then obviously the results will come, especially if we are talking about websites that are for a long time in the market, have some authority, uh, and so on and so on. That will also work for a new businesses, but obviously, you know, this is only one of many steps to rank in Google. But if you have a website which is long time on the market and you was never using this methodology, you may see that, oh, we have so many links, we have so many webs, uh, so many pages, so many blog posts, but they are not ranking quite well. Start writing for specific keywords like try to think like people are thinking, yeah? So the, the best example is we could write an article, top 10 things you should know about pack codes, but nobody is looking for that. Nobody is writing top 10, top five things. It may be okay when you want to make content circulating on social media, fair enough. I saw once BuzzFeed uh, wrote um, uh, article 25 f uh, reasons you should never go to Poland. I was like, what? It's not that bad. Click and, you know, click on this and there was like, oh, Poland have a bad weather and the beautiful picture of beautiful weather, you know, like this kind of uh, 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 click uh, virally, vir vir virally stuff. Uh, the same like, you know, uh, you have sometimes this advert, she really did this, and you have like a Britney Spears, and then the re little circle next to you are like, she did what? And you are clicking, and there is like, hello, sir, would you like to join Forex? <laughs> Fuck off, you know? So that, that, that can work, but nobody will ever write in Google, uh, Britney Spears, she really did this, you know? How old is Britney Spears? What is the uh, last Britney Spears song? And so on and so on. What's the name of the boyfriend? Or does she have a boyfriend? You know, this kind of things. So, results, very quickly, a screenshot taken from search metrics. So this is a client that we were using, that I started working with, the blue one, a uh, client in, in this animated uh, explainer videos. And this is after a couple of months, the blue one. And he turned off uh, PPC, but he still had uh, too many deals he couldn't deal with. And he was calling to me and he was like, Lucas, I have too many calls. <laughs> I was like, that's your problem, man. You wanted to go with SEO. That's, that's how it ended up, you, you know? But then he, he said like, he's okay. And then the, the orange guys called me and I'm working right now with the competitor. So, so yeah, so this is pretty much all, and, uh, and that was me. Thank you very much for having me, and have a great day. Brilliant stuff. Well, I'm going to be using that for my client tomorrow. Um, <laughs> have we got any questions from the audience? Because, I mean, I found that really, really interesting from a point of view of, of saying, answer people's questions and the example of Britney Spears or the 25 reasons to go to Poland. Yes, absolutely. Um, it really strikes a chord with me because you get all these content writers saying, oh, I'm going to write about that. And you're saying it's only because you're interested in it and you're not approaching it from a, what value can I bring? What answers can I bring to the audience? And this is brilliant for that. Number focused content marketing. Numbers are universal. Numbers works across the globe. So, yeah. Yeah, and so by, uh, do, do you manage to convince everybody to start writing answers rather than writing... Yeah, as long as someone is not a 
journalist who needs to understand why we need to write thousand words. But then, yeah. Hello, John. Hello. Um, let's say you've got five competitors, and each of them employs a smart SEO who's maybe been to a conference like this. They do the same research. They find the same keywords. They spot the same opportunities. Yeah. What happens then? This isn't happening in a vacuum. Well, you know, when I was in, that's a very good question. When I was in Newswitch, then, uh, you know, other competitors had like a very, very powerful teams. And you could see that there was a situation that uh, each comparison website was stronger in specific area. Newswitch was in energy prices, uh, go, compare and, uh, compare, uh, go compare and compare the market in insurance, then a money saving expert and money supermarket and credit cards. So I think, it is, it is very dense and very saturated uh, area, but you always need to try. Good. Brilliant stuff. Any more questions? Because I was actually trying to do a keyword gap analysis live while you were doing it. I, <laughs> did, I didn't get through all the stages, uh, but I'll do it tomorrow. My client will be very happy. Perfect. Well, that was absolutely brilliant. Thank you very much, Lucas. Thank you.